Hi, I'm LBD. And in today's fly tire tip and trick, we're going to talk about your rotary vise in relation to the bobbin rest. The bobbin rest is something that many of you probably just kind of push out of the way and may not use at all. Well, we have a way to use it that we think is a better way than what most people use if they use it at all. And the second tip might even be a reason for you to get rid of it altogether. Come on in and take a look. Here I've placed a hook in the vise and I've wrapped my thread part way. Now I want you to first notice that uh, I've got my thread. See, here's the end of the bobbin right here and the vise. And I call this distance my working distance that I use for wrapping around the hook. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie this feather on for demonstration purposes. Well, that's all we're going to use is a feather. We could do a lot of different things, but I think once you go through this exercise, you'll kind of see what we're doing. But anyway, we're wrapping this in place, and please notice that that working distance is kind of handy. Now we'll wrap forward. And we'll take our half hitch tool and just place a small half hitch in here to kind of keep things from coming apart while we're working with the camera and the hook and everything. Now remember the working distance. Now we're going to bring our bobbin rest into play here. Quit bumping everything and I'll pull it here so we can get a look at it. Now let me move the camera over just a little bit so you can see better what we're, what we're going to be dealing with here. And notice that I have pulled the spring that goes across here, that kind of a material spring that they put in this particular kind of a bobbin rest. I've pulled it out because we need a kind of a gap in there. But here's the way most people use a bobbin rest. They don't use it as a bobbin rest so much as they use it as a thread rest. And they get a big old loop of thread out here and lay it over the rest. Let me move that over just a little bit further here so you can see. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. And we'll raise it up so that it's in line as it should be. And you go ahead and rotate the vise to apply materials like this feather we've got right here. And you rotate it and it wraps our material, right? Well, then it's time to tie that material off. So we take the thread off, the bobbin rest, push the rest back out of the way, and now it's time to wrap the thread and doggone the thread has got all this slack in it. Oh, we have to get rid of it. So what we do is we take the bobbin and start twisting it up. And we get it back to our working length so that we can tie off the material. All right? Well, there's another way to do that. If you're going to use the bobbin rest, let's bring this bobbin rest back into play. And remember, it's sitting right there. Well, we're going to change it just a little bit and drop it so that the bobbin is actually resting on the bobbin rest instead of the thread. You don't want to rest the thread. It says bobbin rest is what its name is. Let's leave it at that, at that working length that we call it. And let's start, start wrapping. See how we can, we can wrap and that's going to just stay right there at that same working length. So let's get our, our feather up here. I'm just going to hold that. And we're going to advance it forward. And then we get up to the, the final point. We can drop that. We don't have to do anything except tie off the feather. Pretty easy, huh? Well, there's another way. Let me back all this off. And we'll undo that feather. And let me do this. And unwrap it all. Okay. Now let's take that bobbin rest and let's get it out of the way. Just clear back out of the way for the moment. And let's take a wrap around the hook. Now let's take our fingers and I'm going to, unfortunately I'm going to use my, my finger right next to the trigger finger and that's the flip off finger. I'm not flipping you off. I'm using it as a temporary bobbin rest. See how we're doing that? And as we advance our thread forward, the bobbin rest is right there, still at working length. And now here's a trick for you. 
I drop the bobbin and I keep rotating the vise and then if I didn't tie off the feather. Now here we'll just get all that back in place like it should be. And there you go, a couple of different ways to use a bobbin rest or in the last case to not use a bobbin rest. Have fun.